Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. We've got a special new partner here in Riversong with a brand new watch. Now, when we're filming this, it's the middle of December, and I don't know about you guys, but shipping has been really rough. We haven't been around for a while because, well, all the watches are stuck in shipping. This comes to us through Amazon. Another good reason to try to buy local. By local, I mean within the United States if possible. And Amazon's great for delivering this stuff to you on time. We have got in this Riversong Motive 3S from the Amazon listing here, the basic information. You're looking at a 1.69 inch full touch screen active fitness tracker. Inside of it, as it shows in their description, you have 14 different sports modes automatic and available for you you've got breath training that it'll do it is really waterproof 5 atm with a long battery giving you 30 days of standby time on this one um, good size screen tft lcd 240 by 2 80 and a 24 hour heart rate and blood oxygen monitoring as well as a sleep tracker it's got advanced sensors in it and all that stuff uh, lots of compatibility with this one using the very fit app and we have done uh, reviews with watches that have used that before so if you want a deeper look at the app you can find that here on our channel. And then again, a synopsis of the basic specs. 50 meter, that's a 5 ATM waterproof, and it does support swimming. So looking like it's going to be a pretty decent watch. When you take the cover off, get into the box, you see it's all ready for presentation. Good presentation for a present. Yeah, or for yourself. We uh, bring out the watch from its TPU uh, band uh, on this one and you notice it's got an interesting quick release insert type of a band little different than the Apple ones that slide in from the side right and not quite the same as the ones with the pins that we commonly see tells you the function buttons here charge it before you use it we'll do that take off the cover pop into the box for a little bit more They've got us a nice little bag, and this, of course, is going to be our charging cable for this watch. And it's a uh, standard magnetically coupled uh, two-pin charger. We'll take it out because we're definitely going to want to charge this up and uh, get some data on it for you. Here you go. It aligns and very, very strong magnetic connection and a very lightweight watch. So it's going to make it very easy to charge this one. And the manual, Riversong. Now, we have not worked with these guys before. This is brand new. So their manual in English gives you product overview, turning it on and off, the app download QR code, but check our show notes for a download. Now, there's a Very Fit and a Very Fit Pro app, and I know we've had problems in the past. They're not interchangeable. So this says it uses the Very Fit app. And that's the one you're going to want to work with, I bet. And then we get into other languages as well. All righty, I'll be back once it's charged up. Well, with one button on the side, makes it easy to know which one to push, doesn't it? Long press, holding, holding. There, it vibrated, little circle, and it pops up pretty quickly into its stock watch face. Really bright screen on this one, really long battery life, and a quick timeout on it. We got 74%. Just want to show you that these are active touch spots that can get you into some of the stuff we'll be looking at here in just a moment. You've got your uh, notifications this way. Here, you've got do not disturb, twist your wrist to see... Um, the screen and here's our brightness look how bright that puppy is and there's one for dark so i'm running it at about a three right now find your phone is right there so the common things you need are easily available we got our step count for the day and you can see a bar chart in here that is uh, calibrated against a scale which is nice we have heart rate when you land on this page and you wait the screen will stay on here is the heart rate from midnight forward we're a little past noon now so 
it's taking it about every hour or so. It's working in the background with the green diodes, getting a reading from my arm, and the big digits will appear right there. It sits for a little while until it settles down, then it vibrates, and that's my heart rate reading. So the same kind of readings we're going to be seeing when we go to... Um, this one, which is your stress level now. Now, there's a couple of other things, blood oxygen and blood pressure. This one does blood oxygen, but incrementally, and you need to access that separately from the menu area. It's not one of our tiles that we go across. And then you've got um, blood oxygen, I'm sorry, blood pressure. It, it isn't on this watch at all. They decided to stay away from it. I guess it's not calibrated and accurate enough for, for their measurement. And they're marketing through Amazon in the United States, so a little bit tighter requirements overall. There's my 48 on a scale to 100, and that's my overall stress level, maximum, minimum, and you'll see all of that in the end. I swipe back that way because that stops it from its measurement, so I can then go forward. Here you've got uh, your choice of the different activities. Now one more swipe gets you into a music player that you can activate here. You can change the volume. If you have something playing on your phone, it will show up. And one more swipe or going backward will take you in and it shows you your temperature in your area in Fahrenheit or centigrade and of course that's uh, calibrated with the location up at the top. So those are all of the tiles that you get when you go around. When you're on the watch face you can press and hold and have a look at a, an analog face if you like that style. You have one other stock face in here which is kind of interesting. Got to get it just right. Press and hold. And that's a digital one, which gives you some of your information down here. And uh, you can activate that criteria there, but that's about it. Then you have the ability in the app to create a custom face. And I thought I'd try one out for you guys. Here's a pretty... Uh, photograph of a resort in the area at nighttime. You get your time and date on there and um, yeah, whatever picture you want. You can't move this around, but you can change the colors of the time. So that's kind of interesting. Activating all of the apps is uh, here. When you press the button, it toggles you these three, two different things. It doesn't really turn the watch off. The only way is to wait it out for it to time out. And it goes off quickly. We have health data. When you get in here, that's what we saw when we touched that one active spot. Here's your, doggone it, it's just too fast for me. Here's your step count information. Um, this is uh, calories burned and distance traveled overall. And then you've got a uh, menstrual cycle. If you're tracking this as a female, it'll tell you where you are in your period. And that's what's available in the health section. Exercise, you have all these different activities to choose from, including uh, swimming, uh, because it's definitely waterproof to five atmosphere, 50 feet, and a bunch of other things. And it will automatically detect your exercising if you're running or walking. I've had it do that for me already. Here's the exercise record, and these are a couple of the things that it automatically picked up for me. Uh, here's what they look like, and it also assesses your overall heart rate. You actually get a chart on the app when you uh, go into that. Here's another one. Just as an example, you get your pace, your calories, all kinds of things in there. That's your exercise record. Heart rate we already saw. Then you've got the blood oxygen I was talking about. Now it's doing its measurement and it's using the red diode. So it's the higher accuracy process in this one. And uh, you notice it's got the chart here as well, but you have to manually take these measurements and they'll show up as little darts, dots, or if it's going to change while it's taking your measurement, it'll be a little line that uh, between the two. Uh, here it's saying I'm 97 and you can see it goes 99 down to uh, 66, 33. By then you'd be long gone. Should be up in the 90s for sure. It just vibrated so it's done with that. And then there's stress and we already did that test too. So those are the main things. You have a breath training thing here. Oh wait a minute, that's our sleep time I touched down below. You can 
Do this, press, relax, focus on your breath, and it's going to guide you to inhale and exhale. Now, it's really nice. This one has the actual stress measurement, and you can set an alarm. It just vibrated for me to exhale, so I don't have to look at it if I don't want to. You not only have the stress information that's giving you feedback, you can set an alarm in the app if you get too high in your stress, and you have this process to just walk away from it, guys. Walk away and breathe. Take a few minutes, one minute, two minutes, and just breathe. Try to bring your stress level down. Very nice addition to this one. You can do it slowly, quickly. If you've been running uh, and you, you ha or your breath is really fast, you can change here to rapid. Uh, very flexible, very nice. Now, we jumped in here and saw sleep time, and it's showing me my breakdown when I slide it. Awake time, asleep time, get up time and the chart and of course more details when you get into the app itself you have overall weather in your area the music player you have a, a stopwatch it will not run in the background i tried that but you can do lap time uh, basic alarms you have countdown timers that you can set find your phone and overall settings are the same similar things we've seen. Do not disturb. Raise your wrist to see the time. The watch faces. You can change uh, here your screen on time up to 20 seconds, which we're going to do so that it's not turning off so quickly. And, of course, the brightness is settable right there. There it is, full brightness, full dim. And we're running at three. It has automatic brightness control and it works really well. So at night it's dimmer than it is in the day, which means somewhere in here is a photo diode that's assessing the ambient background. It's, a, it's got a lot of special features in this watch. Power off, reset, restart. Make sure you check for an update. This one had an update when I got started. And that's it for all of that. Now, let's switch over to the app. We're in the Google Play Store, and I wanted to point out there is a Very Fit Pro and a Very Fit app, and this one's designed to work with Very Fit. It's been updated somewhat recently, so it's looking pretty good. When you in, uh, install it, open it, you can either go in without an account, which I am right now, or you can create your own account, which gives you more access to some of the data and stored data from the past. Your choice. Um, you get these different tabs in here right off of the bat, and they're extensive. It covers a lot of stuff. So first one is going to show you basically your activity in um, terms of calories, exercise, which it considers um, a 30-minute period of doing something, walking, running, whatever, um, more than just sedentary walking, basically. And this is a I've done steps, probably 100 steps, I guess, minimum every hour for the last six hours. So if you're tracking that to try to at least get some activity, you've got it. If you do a little bit more exercise, you've got it. And you got your overall activity summary, day, week, month, year, and recent. So it's showing I haven't done anything today. And no secret, I haven't. It's <laughs> um, ready to go, ready to go. Calories, time, all of that stuff. But you get your summary in this one of what you're seeing in the circles here. Get in here. You got your basic step count really broken down. How many steps when you took them in um, the day from midnight to to midnight basically settings up there as well then you got your sleep time here's what we saw in the little chart that was kind of busy um 2305 2305 to 637 32 not sure what that is maybe it's different days i guess anyway here we are that's weird uh seven hours 27 minutes deep, light, and awake time, no rim uh, tracking on this one, and your b basic score. So this one provides you with a sleep score, and optimizing that is going to reflect in good sleep. So you can work on that over time, and uh, of course see the breakdown of your sleep day, week, month, and year as well on here. You got weight. You got whatever weight you put in to begin with. You can record a weight. You can change this thing around. By the way, in set uh, the setup, it's really nice how you set everything up. Your age and birth date, all that is like this. And you can do it in metric or um, uh, imperial quickly. And uh, really just pick what you want or you know, what you are and uh, and set it. You can record that weight and whatnot. And, and then all that stuff will be tracked in the background as well. 
Okay, uh, exercise. This is the summary of what we have done. You can get into detail. Here's where I was saying you can actually see the heart rate uh, during that exercise period. Here's where I forgot to stop the watch. and <laughs> It just hummed along at sedentary. Um, but it started all on its own. And after it senses you're not moving at that same level for a while, it will invite you with a 15 second warning to stop or continue. If you don't touch it, it will automatically stop. So you can get exercise with this and not even think about it throughout the day. And just see your summary at night when you um, transfer the data over here. You can set it in the settings for monitoring either walking or running or both and automatically track those. Blood oxygen. Here's some of the readings from yesterday, today, I guess. Um, Again, those are individual readings. Here is the stress um, computation. So when you slide this along, you'll get the number and you got the breakdown in the zones right here as well. And um, then you've got the menstrual cycle for the ladies, which will show you uh, your period length and ovulation and all those things that um, are important to track. Yes, so it's definitely a ladies device as well exercise now although this does not have gps in it if you have your phone along with you and you synchronize doing a run or walk and you select what you want of your activity here it will initiate on the phone it will record your track using the gps in your phone and this will feed the information to it like your um heart rate and whatnot, and you'll get your overall data. So it's a poor man's way of getting a high-end GPS watch for a good price. As long as you bring your phone along with you, you can get everything you need. Okay, device takes us over here. This is the device itself. You get in here, you get some other interesting things. Check the device upgrade. Uh, we needed to do that. Notice it's showing the uh, personal picture layout that I put on here on the symbol of the actual watch. Really nice uh, the way the app integrates directly with the product itself. You have more watch faces that are available, new arrivals, and more um, just some colorful faces that are available analog, digital, you name it. Any of these can be added. And I swiped an extra time and it goes to the three stock faces and then the extra one face. So you can have four on the watch, the basic three, and then any of these others. Um, and that's all in the watch faces. You can set up your notifications, alarms, incoming calls, activate or not, so it'll let you know who's calling. No Bluetooth calling to answer on this one, though. Uh, your health settings are interesting. Here's where you can turn on the uh, heart rate monitoring for continuous measurements um, automatically and uh, real time. You have stress monitoring enable ability here, and you can set the repeat cycle, the interval, and if you have excessive stress it will notify you of that sedentary uh, drinking water all of those things the menstrual cycle deep data that the ladies can put in to set this thing up so it's accurate all of that is right there in the more settings and then finally there's a bit about you your metals your data your health uh, report after a week you'll get a full report on your health uh, Really beautiful blend of this app with the watch. It's got a lot of things going for it. Messages, your overall settings in here where you change your units of anything you want, even the start of the week and the time system you're using. Um, data sharing, this is cool. It does support Strava, guys. And a lot of folks swear by Strava. So you do your um, your your out workout uh, with the phone with you with GPS capability and activate it. Get your heart rate stuff synchronized, all of that while you're doing your activity and connect it with Google Fit and or Strava. And boom, you got all your data transferred over and you can analyze it any way you want to on any device you want to really sweet data sharing that's what we just looked at you have a map engine for google maps or a map wherever that is and uh your goals that you can you can set specifically your step goal your weight goal uh, so if you're going to try to lose weight it should be able to calculate the calories you're going to need to burn per day and let you know about all of that um, check for updates about this watch we're running version 1.3.4 of the app and withdraw consent, I think, is to take away the privilege of them collecting data on you and uh, 
disconnect you from here. And of course, you can log out of your account, but not withdraw consent as in closing it. So those options are available to completely get uh, hands-free away from this app if you need to. Well, there you go. There's the app. Here's the watch. Uh, again, it's a really sweet watch. You got quite a few things going for you on this one. Um, the automatic exercise, the heart rate capability, the red diode for blood oxygen monitoring, and it's thin apple looking style lightweight odd removable bands on here they don't slide in and out but they do seem to have a disconnect here yeah so they got pins but they're pretty unique i imagine you might be able to put in a specialty uh, app that's the right size that would fit uh, but it may not integrate as nicely as the the band that comes with it any way you look at it, you can pick this puppy up through Amazon. Yep, and um, Amazon is shipping them right now for 50 bucks. And look at this, an extra 15% when you apply this coupon discount. So this is a good time to jump in and get this one. It is um, a River Song product, first one we've done, and I'm pretty impressed with it overall. Looks like a really good watch. All right, gang, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.